Hey folks, you've probably heard that Tobago is home to one of the largest brain corals in the world. Join me on this dive. Let's go take a look. Just go ahead and double check yourself, please. Mask fins. All right, let's go on the count of three. One, two, three. Have fun. <laughs> Out on the dive with us today includes Marian, Adira, VJ, Sunil VJ, Junior, and of course Doc Michael. There's VJ doing some video underwater with his GoPro camera. Hold on to it tightly, VJ. You know you and that camera underwater. Thanks for joining us on this video folks. My name is Ron and I've been diving for over 40 years working as a dive guide, a dive instructor and diving recreationally throughout the Caribbean and other destinations. Speyside is one of just a handful of dive locations blessed with a prolific array of fish and marine life and an abundance of healthy hard corals and soft corals and marine plants. There are very few places, other than in Speyside, that you can find this sort of healthy marine ecosystem. Even other parts of Tobago don't have such a healthy array of reef life. Speyside overlooks the Atlantic Ocean, which sweeps through the bay and over the reefs based on the topography of the islands of Little Tobago and Goat Island. The equatorial current brings nutrient-laden waters from South America past our windward coastline and provides endless nutrients to the marine life along this coastline. With the constant flow of water, it generally provides for a crystal clear blue water found off Speyside. Unless, of course, we choose to dump our mud and silt from the land into the watercourses leading to the space I be. I do have a link about a video related to that and I'll give the link above. The dive site known as Calliston Drain may be split into two parts. The way I like to dive it is to drift down to what is known as one of the largest brain corals in the world. It sits at over 10 feet tall and approximately 18 feet wide. Majestic indeed. There you can see that brain coral, an absolute beauty. It looks like a piece of hard rock, but if you look very, very closely, without touching of course, you'll see that the actual coral is made up of so many tiny polyps that only come out and feed at night when the parrotfish are tucked away and sleeping. These polyps will then open up into the water and feed. Unfortunately, my doubles buddy, Crystal, has shared with me a few photos of divers landing on brain coral 
propping themselves up on the brain coral, sitting on the brain coral, and accidentally, I think, finning and kicking the brain coral. It's very unfortunate. Look at what you see happening here. When you move the slime and the mucus off that brain coral, guess what? The parrotfish then have the opportunity to go in and eat away at the coral. So what used to be a solid brain coral is now broken into, well, when I say broken, it's now showing that it's split up and no longer the one solid healthy brain coral. So there are many different parts to it. Is that good? I don't think so, but it is what it is, as they say. Let's try to avoid kicking it, sitting on it, bumping into it. If you're going to take a picture, please do so. But there's a nice sandy patch that you can set down on and take your pictures without touching that coral. And so we're going to move on. Let's go to the second part of Kelliston Drain. The second half of this dive is known as the Kelliston Drain, where cool and fun but sometimes strong currents move us around to the front of the island of Little Tobago, ending up where the tourists and bird watchers disembark boats to go onto the island. One can see from the video the many very healthy vase, these are the purple sponges, that are water filter feeders. This is how they feed and to be efficient, they grow perpendicular to the prevailing currents or surge. You can see many of these have grown with a bend forward and that's based on the currents. The current here moves with the reef and not down to the bottom of the ocean. There is an area around the Tobago known as the washing machine and this area has a down pulling current. We avoid that area at all costs and we do not recommend diving there. This video would not be complete without a relevant story. Some of us older dive masters also call this site Manta City. In fact, Redman and I had a standing joke and used to attempt to tell each other's divers first, no manta, no money. In other words, if we do not show you manta rays on this dive, then there's no charge for the dives. That was how confident we were of seeing manta rays daily at this dive site.
Folks, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for looking and a special thank you to Sunil Vijay for providing some of this excellent footage from this dive site. Take care guys, I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss a video. See you soon.